video we're going to focus on some um, release work um, that was useful for when you're sitting at your desk all day. And we're going to start with some upper body release. And we're going to start with the um, trapezius squeeze. So trapezius is this big muscle like along the top of the shoulder here. So what I want to do is use my fingers here and if I reach in and I grab onto that big fleshy pad just on the shoulder there, tilt the head to one side to get a little bit of access there, and now I'm just going to knead my thumb into that. So what I'm doing here at the moment, I'm searching for a bit of a sore point. I've got that, now I'm just going to knead with my thumb between my thumb and fingers. And we can do this for 15 or 20 seconds or so. And then we just repeat to the other side. I'm right hand, I can't get the pressure with my left hand, so I just use my right hand here. It doesn't matter, as long as you're getting into that fleshy bit there. Now there's another bit of a troublesome rotator cuff muscle, which we can actually access under the arm here. So if we lift one arm and we run the fingers up along the ribs and go right back until you feel like you're digging into that muscle or that fleshy part and then you just dig in around just underneath there with your fingertips and you just knead that in little circles. Just like that. And again, you can explore to find a sore spot and just use that sore spot there. done in 15 20 seconds on one side, you can do the same on the other. Just feel around, found my sore spot, and I'm pushing right back into that fleshy bit up in the back. And pushing into the ribs. Now we pick up the ball and we're going to go back to the neck and this little muscle up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll to one side, I'm going to tip my chin down. I'm going to press the ball right in that little ridge muscle up there. I'm just going to push in and I'm just going to roll it up and down. Then to the other side, take the head to the other side, drop the chin to expose that muscle or, or to get a little tension in it. So you can find that sore spot in your head. So we're right in this ridge here. And finally, the pec minor. The pec minor is this little bit of muscle just at the top of the chest here. So we feel for the collarbone. I get it just underneath the collarbone. Push and I'm going to roll just around there. You may be surprised about this one. This one can be a bit of a trouble area for some people, they don't even realise it. And then to the other side. So now we're going to start on the lower techniques and lower body techniques. We stand up for that, approach a wall, and we're going to start with what's called the TFL, which is a little muscle just on the hip here, which it attaches to that tendon that runs into the knee. That can be an issue for some people. So if I feel for the side of my hip, top and bottom there, I'm going to go right to the middle. That's where I put the ball. Lean it up against the wall, drop my weight into it, and I'm just going to position the ball so I can roll up and down that little spot there. Then we repeat to the other side, so again I'll just go right on the side of the hip bone, I can feel the top there, the bottom there, right from the middle, lean into the wall. Put as much pressure as you need to on it. So if it hurts too much, just ease the pressure. If you're not feeling anything, really push in. And then the glute med, which is around about where your back pocket is. So I'm just gonna 
place the ball in there, bring it low enough so that I can move up and down. I'm thinking from about line down to about the um, fold of the butt cheeks, about line to the fold of the butt cheeks. Once you've done 20 seconds or so on one side, again I'm finding that back pocket, roughly that area in the back pocket. I'm going to lean in at an angle where I can put a bit of weight into it and push more if I need to and less if it's really feeling too much for me. And finally a really good one that works all the way up the chain. You take your shoes off for this. Put the ball on the ground, put your foot on top, and roll. So I can roll anywhere in the bottom of my foot. What I'm doing is I'm just feeling for where it feels the most uncomfortable, and I'm focusing on that point. I can just rock it over the ball, or I can roll it up and down. Once I've done one leg, just remove the other shoe, 